Hi everyone, Kavita here, founder of Kavita Holistic. And this week's topic is if you really knew me, what you would know is dot dot dot. Um, this is a juicy one this week and I have two things to share with you. One from my business, what's juicy in my business that you don't know about me yet. And what's juicy in my personal life that you don't know about me yet. The personal one, um, I have to say is already causing me some anxiety and stress and fear is all bubbling up inside of me right now. So I'm going to tell you all about it. It has been a life changer for me. It has totally revamped the way I lead my life and the way I view others. So I will tell you all about that. That's going to be the last thing I tackle. I'm procrastinating a little bit with telling you, but um, I am excited to tell you all about it because this will be the first time that I ever really come out with it and um, on this broad of a scale. So I'm excited to tell you all about it, but before that personal one that I get to, um, what you really should know about me and my business is that anytime I'm venturing into new territory, whether it's anything as simple as putting a new newsletter out there where I'm putting my heart on the table in terms of what, I, what I've written or I've told my reader something very um, personal to who I am, or whether it's me doing these videos for all of you, um, or a networking event, if that feels like something new, a new place that I'm going, or even speaking engagements, which is something that I'm really focusing in on this year. Um, anytime we're venturing into something new, a lot of fear comes up. I know. I know because I've been through it all the time, and I have to say multiple times a day. Sometimes these videos come across like, oh, she's so cool. she seems so confident. She knows what she's talking about. And yes, there's a big part of me that is extremely confident, just like you. And there's a big part of me that has a ton of fear, a ton of anxiety, and is scared. And I know a lot of people have, uh, you know, given me advice like, you just have to push through that. You just have to get to the other side. So if you push through it, then you get there and you'll be done with it. And I really don't agree with that. I mean, I've tried that before and I realized that I'll push through it, but on the other side, I'm not as authentic that I as I'd like to be. It doesn't seem as natural. It seems forced. And the point or what I'm trying to get across isn't really landing on the other people around me or um, or on my clients or, you know, on the people that I'm asking to help me out with something. So, you know, I don't really believe in that. Just just push through it and get over with. Get, get it over with. Uh, my philosophy around it and what's worked for me is really I take a deep breath and and I need to just emphasize this happens to me all the time, okay? I literally take a moment, I take a couple of deep breaths and that knot or fear or anxiety that you can feel inside of your stomach, I try to just flip that script inside of me in, in terms of my feelings. So what I try to do is basically think of positive moments in my life. For example, um, uh, when my father walked me down the aisle when I was getting married, when I think of that moment, just pure elation and happiness happens inside of me. And that feeling of just, it transports me right back to that moment and that happiness just like invokes me. Um, or when my baby brother was born, I remember this moment when I was really young and I just wanted to hold him and I remember just overflowing with love. Or um, when I got my first job out of college, I remember so how excited I was about doing that. And, you know, when I started my own business, all of those points in my life, when I go back to them and think about them, creates this positive feeling inside of me. So I tap into that, and then from that place, I will move forward. I will go forward with walking in through that door of the networking event. I will... Um, you know, get up on stage and then talk to everybody in the audience. So that's really how I get through those moments. But I have fear and anxiety that come up for me all the time, just like you. I'm human. You know, we're all human and we all have these emotions. Um, so now I want to share something with you that's extremely personal. And I've never really shared this on this wide of a scale, like I said before. But I'm excited to share it because it's been my... Um, on my mind for a while and I've been wanting to share it and this year I knew was the year to share it. So um, I developed this uh, disease called alopecia when I was 14 years old 
And basically what alopecia is, maybe some of you have friends that have it, maybe you don't, but what it is is patches of hair that fall out um, and they don't really have a cure for it or anything. They say it's genetic. A lot of research has gone into it. Um, lots of inconclusive reasons for why somebody develops it. But basically patches of hair will fall out and then I'll grow back. So I developed this when I was 14 years old. And it really didn't phase me um, when I was really young at all. Like, patches of hair would fall out, grow back, fall out, grow back. When I went to college, um, by the time I was my, into my sophomore year, I basically was wearing a baseball cap all the time because most of my head was bald. And that was extremely hard for me to go through in college. I'm kind of getting all choked up already telling you about this. But um, it was extremely hard. And... Um, I decided my sophomore year at the end of it to go get a wig and as you see me on this video today I have a wig on underneath this wig I am completely bald and it has totally transformed my life and in ways that sometimes I cannot even describe but I am so blessed to have had this and I can only tell you that because it has made me a stronger woman. It has made me a stronger person because I know a lot of things for us women, especially have to do with how do we look, how do we look on the outside, am I thin enough, am I pretty enough, um, do I have beautiful skin, do I have beautiful hair? And that was a lot of where my focus was prior to um, really developing alopecia and getting to the point where I had to get a wig. And I really, through really honing my inner diva, as I like to call it, like the person inside of me that I want to shine through, was what I did because sometimes my wigs weren't the best. I mean, what you see right now is amazing. I'm so blessed to have such a beautiful wig right now. Um, thanks to, you know, somebody I don't even know in another country that made this wig and then brought it to me. But it wasn't always the case where it looked so natural and it, it, there was a lot of um, you know me dealing with my identity uh, having kind of an identity crisis when I looked in the mirror and I couldn't really see the person that was there when I had my hair and um, what I started to do was really develop the inside confidence that I have inside of me and through developing that it has changed my life it is what really has gotten me to a place where I can be an entrepreneur I can move forward without, with those fears um, inside of me. It is something that has changed the way I look at other people because before this, having this um, alopecia, I really looked at other people and would take the external and be like, oh, she's beautiful and I wish I could be like that or, you know, um, or I would judge somebody because of the way they looked. And um, now I don't do that. I really believe that every single woman and person out there is beautiful and beauty from within. I mean, that beauty that can shine through from inside of you is just crucial to making you look and feel beautiful. Um, do I believe the external stuff is important? Yes. I mean, I'm so blessed to have this wig and it makes me feel you know, normal and look good and have that confidence. But most of his, most of my inner confidence and confidence shines through because of what I'm feeling inside. And so I wanted to share this with you and I wanted to share both of these moments that you really don't know about me because one, I have fears all the time. Even I hope I exhibited that even in this video. And I got into a place where I wanted to share this really tremendous thing in my life um, and I wanted to share it with you and so I got into that place where I could share that with you in the most authentic way. So I hope I did that. I hope it's inspiring for you to hear my story um, and I want you to use it to you know really look at yourself in a different way, look at others in a different way. Uh, beauty is really only skin deep and also know that fears come up for all of us and you can move past that and really have the life you want. So share your comments. I really want to hear what you guys have to say about what I shared today. It's coming from the deepest part of me. Um, and so I'm excited to hear what you have to say. So leave your comments and I will respond. And I hope you guys are having a great week. And I will see you next Tuesday with more from me. And um, share your comments below. Okay? Bye.